Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the RMS value and average value of half wave rectifier as well as full wave rectifier. First we will consider the half wave rectifier. We will see the expression for RMS value or also it is called as effective value. In half wave rectifier, during positive off cycle, the diode is forward biased, so we will get the positive voltage. During negative off cycle, the diode is reverse biased, so there is no voltage is available. So voltage available only during positive off cycle. The same thing repeated. So the waveform available between 0 to pi. From pi to 2 pi, the, the, the current or voltage is 0. Here we consider the current. So I equal to IM sin theta, the general formula that is applicable for 0 to pi. 0 to pi, the voltage available. In case of pi to 2 pi, the current is 0. So based on that, we will go for the derivation. RMS value equal to I RMS square equal to 1 divided by 2 pi integral 0 to 2 pi I square d theta. So this is the base period, full cycle. We are considered full cycle. So that 1 divided by 2 pi. Limit also 0 to 2 pi. But here, the the way the current available only 0 to pi. So we can change it as 0 to pi. From pi to 2 pi, the current is not available. As there is no waveform from pi to 2 pi. So the limit is changed from 0 to pi. Now we'll substitute this i square, this i value. i value is nothing but i m sin theta. So that 1 divided by 2 pi, 0 to pi, i m square sin square theta into d theta. This i m square is taken outside. So i m square divided by 2 pi. This sin square theta is written as in order to go for the integration, the sin square theta is converted into 1 minus cos 2 theta divided by 2 into d theta. This 2 also we can take outside. So i m square by 4 pi theta. Now we will go for the integration. This integral 1, 1 is nothing but d theta. So integral d theta is theta. Integral cos 2 theta is sin 2 theta divided by 2. Now we'll substitute the limit 0 to pi. So i m square divided by 4 pi. Substitute the upper limit pi. So pi minus here also sin 2 pi by 2. Substitute the lower limit is 0. Here already negative is there so that become positive sin 0. So in this, the sin 2 theta also 0, sin 0 also 0. Only we have pi. So i m square divided by 4 pi into pi. So this pi pi got cancelled. So what we have i m square divided by 4. That is i r m square equal to i m square divided by 4. Now we will take square root on both the side. So i r m s equal to i m by 2. The square root of i m square is i m. Square root of 4 is 2. So this 1 by 2 is 0.5. So 0.5 i m. So half wave rectifier, the r m s value of current is 0.5 times of, times of maximum value. 0.5 i m. Now we got the expression for i r m s for half wave rectifier. Now we will go to the average value. Now we will see the average value of half wave rectifier. What is the formula? I average equal to 1 divided by 2 pi 0 to 2 pi i into d theta. Same thing but here square is not there. Previously we have RMS square. Now we have average value. So 1 divided by 2 pi we will split into 2. 0 to pi and pi to 2 pi. i d theta and i d theta. So 1 divided by 2 pi 0 to pi i is nothing but i m sin theta into d theta. From pi to 2 pi the current is not available. So it becomes 0. So we will take this i m outside. So i m by 2 pi the integral sin theta is minus cos theta. We need to substitute the limit 0 to pi. So while substituting what will happen i m by 2 pi first to substitute the upper limit minus cos pi plus cos theta. While substituting lower limit, negative is there, already one negative is there, so it becomes positive. Now we we'll substitute the value. So i m by 2 pi, cos pi value is minus 1, already one minus is there, cos 0 value is 1. 
so i m by 2 pi this become positive minus of minus 1 become positive plus 1 1 plus 1 2 so this 2 2 got cancelled we have i m by pi so 1 divided by pi is 0 0.318 i m so the average value of the half wave rectifier is 0 0.31 times of i m now we got the average value as well as rms value of the half wave rectifier from that we can find the form factor we can easily find the form factor for half wave rectifier the rms value what we calculated is 0.5 times of im that is maximum value average value equal to 0.318 times of maximum value just now we calculated 0 0.31 times now we'll find the form factor form factor equal to rms value by average value so average value what is the rms value 0.5 times of maximum value this is nothing but im divided by average value 0 0.31 times of maximum value this maximum maximum got cancelled so 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.318 that is nothing but 1.57 so the form factor for the half wave rectifier is 1.57 now we'll go to the full wave rectifier now we'll go to the full wave rectifier first we'll see the rms or effective value so in the full wave rectifier we know that there are two diodes or four diodes will be available so during positive of cycle the one set of diode is forward bias so we'll get the positive voltage during negative of cycle another set of diode is forward bias so that we'll get the current during negative of cycle also so every half cycle will get the voltage in case of full wave rectifier both half both positive of cycle and negative of cycle is rectified so that it is called a full wave rectifier so for every half cycle we are getting the positive current from 0 to 2 pi pi to 2 pi everywhere so i equal to im sin theta this is a formula now we'll go to the i rms square equal to 1 by pi 0 to pi i square d theta why we are taking here pi previously we have 2 pi because so every half cycle is symmetrical here 0 to pi is symmetrical with pi to 2 pi 2 pi pi to 3 pi every every half cycle is symmetrical so we need to consider only one half cycle is enough next half cycle is similar to the first one but in case of uh, uh, half wave rectifier 0 to pi the voltage available pi to 2 pi the voltage is not available so we have taken full cycle here only half cycle is enough because the waveform is symmetrical in every half cycle now we substitute the limit 1 by pi 0 to pi substitute this value i m square sin square theta this i m sin theta so while square it become i m square sin square theta in order to integrate we need to change the sin square theta as a 1 minus cos 2 theta divided by 2 this i m square is taken outside so i m square by pi i will go for the integration i m square by 2 pi this 1 1 is the integral 1 is theta cos 2 theta is sin 2 theta divided by 2 this 2 is taken outside so that i m square divided by 2 pi only we have 1 minus cos 2 theta 1 minus cos theta while integrating it become theta minus sin 2 theta divided by 2 now we'll substitute the limit i m square divided by 2 pi substitute the upper limit pi pi minus sin 2 pi by 2 substitute the lower limit at the time we'll get negative minus 0 here already one negative negative is there so it become positive this will be positive not a negative sin 2 0 so in this sin 2 pi also 0 sin 0 also 0 only we have pi is available so i m square divided by 2 pi into pi so pi pi got cancelled so what we have only i m square divided by 2 that is i r m square equal to i m square divided by 2 now take the square root on both the side so that i r m s equal to i m divided by root 2 the square root of i r m s square is i r m s i m square is i m square root of 2 is this square root of 2 
so while simplifying this 1 by root 2 while simplifying what we got 0 0.707 im so the rms value of current for full wave rectifier is 0 0.707 im now we'll go to the average value so for the average value the formula is 1 divided by pi 0 to pi i d theta because of symmetrical we consider only pi now substitute the value 1 divided by pi 0 to pi i is nothing but i m sin theta into d theta we take the i m outside because constant i m by pi integral sin theta is minus cos theta now substitute the limit i m by pi substitute the upper limit already one minus is there minus cos pi while substituting lower limit one minus will be there already one minus there so it become plus minus cos pi plus cos 0 so i m by pi minus this cos pi is minus 1 plus cos 0 is plus 1 so i m by pi minus of minus 1 become plus 1 so 1 plus 1 2 2 i m by pi by simplifying this 2 by pi is 0.637 i m i average equal to 0.637 times of i m now we got the average value as well as rms value from this we can find the form factor so the form factor for full wave rectifier the form factor formula is rms value by average value both are we calculated average value rms value is 0 0.707 times of maximum value that is im average value is 0 0.63 times of maximum value just now we calculated so this maximum value got cancel 0 0.707 divided by 0 0.637 is nothing but 1.11 so the form factor for the half wave full wave rectifier is 1.11 now we'll go to the peak factor one more factor is available peak factor we'll see for half wave as well as full wave rectifier so the peak factor is nothing but maximum value by rms value so for half wave rectifier peak factor equal to maximum value divided by the peak rms value is 0.5 into maximum value already we calculated so maximum value got cancelled 1 divided by 0.5 is nothing but 2 so for peak factor of half wave rectifier is 2 similarly full wave rectifier maximum value divided by rms value rms value is 0 0.707 into maximum value got cancelled so 1 divided by 0 0.707 is, is nothing but 1.414 so now we calculated peak value also for half wave rectifier it is 2 for full wave rectifier it is 1.414 now we will go for the comparison comparison tab table is available so this is a half wave rectifier this is a full wave rectifier what is the average value of half wave rectifier i m by full wave rectifier 2 i m by pi for rms value half wave rectifier is i m by 2 full wave rectifier i m by root 2 the form factor half wave rectifier is 1.57 for full wave rectifier 1.11 the peak factor for half wave rectifier is 2 full wave rectifier is 1.414 so in this video we got the expression for rms value and average value of half wave rectifier as well as full wave rectifier and also we calculated the form factor and peak factor thank you